Welcome again, we will start exactly where we left off last time and I promised that I'm going to configure DHCP snooping on the relay agent on the distribution layer switch uh, 1 as you can see right here, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and in a global config mode to configure DHCP snooping, okay? You need to create first a database, okay, for the uh, DHCP snooping Binding. So what actually the CP snooping does, okay, it actually uh, map the trusted ports that are connected to the DHCP server and the rest of the ports that are considered untrusted. So if some rogue DHCP on the network starts actually sending an offer to uh, clients on the network, the port actually will be disabled or error disabled by the uh, switch okay because the switch port it shouldn't actually allow the hcp offers and the hcp messages you could also use the hcp source guard because the hcp snooping build a database okay maps a mac address to an ip address okay so uh, let's go ahead and do that on the command line so first thing we need to do ip dhcp snooping and then database right and the database where we want to store the database actually we want to store it uh, let's actually uh, do show flash to uh, check our flash okay let's do the directory so as you can see here we have flash zero okay where all the configuration, the NVRAM and VLAN.dead, VLAN database and the rest and the iOS as well from where the switch actually boots, okay? So we're gonna store the IP DHCP uh, snooping database and in flash memory, okay? And then we need to create a URL, right? So let's name it uh, DHCP snooping, okay? dot d p okay something like this and ip dhcp snooping okay enable it globally and then we need to enable it on a vlan which is vlan 100 okay ip dhcp vlan ip dhcp snooping okay vlan 100 so we want to actually enable dhcp snooping on vlan 100 Okay, let's verify to show IP DHCP uh, snooping, okay, binding, for example. You can also do IP, show IP DHCP snooping. And as you can see here, DHCP snooping is configured on the following VLANs, so VLAN 100. DHCP snooping is operational on the following VLANs, VLAN 100, and DHCP snooping is configured on the following layer three interfaces as you can see um, uh, we have actually the interface trusted and allowed option and the rate limit we can also rate limit the uh, DCP requests okay so uh, under the uh, do show run interface actually big zero plus zero so under this interface we're going to actually use IP DHCP snooping okay and trust so we're trusting okay this port because this port is directly connected to DHCP server and the rest will be denied so do show IP DHCP um, snooping here we go and as you can see here we have a trusted port which is the gigabit 00 port and the rest they will be uh, actually and trust it. So let's check that by actually issuing the same command interface, let's say gig 0 slash 1. Uh, okay. Snooping. Okay. And then uh, binding statistics database. We can check. Okay. Uh, database. Here we go. So there is nothing in the database. Let's actually do. Um, binding we can also see the binding dhcp binding here okay 
and let's actually uh, go under the um, the gigabit zero one and configure IP source guard under it. Okay, so under the gigabit zero one to configure IP source guard. IP source guard actually it's it's actually uh, based or look at the CP snooping binding database. MAC address to, uh, to IP address and the maps, okay, the IP to the MAC address. If uh, traffic is coming on, uh, okay, on different actually IP or MAC other than uh, specified in the DHCP database, okay, the traffic will be dropped, okay. So uh, I'm going to do IP verify source. IP verify source and that's it. Okay. Exit to show IP DHCP snooping. There we go. Do show IP DHCP snooping binding. There we go. So DHCP snooping is working and it's everything is fine. Let's actually uh, grab another actually uh, router as a client. Let's grab this guy here, okay, and let's connect it to um, to the switch, X layer switch here. Here we go. Fast Ethernet zero zero, and let's actually uh, start the gig zero three and this gig zero two. So uh, let's actually um, configure this the router to with uh, IP DHC with uh, actually uh, to get an IP automatically from the HCP server and then the interface uh, fast Ethernet zero okay interface fast Ethernet zero slash zero IP address DHCP okay and of course you know, shut down you show it in the face brief and let's actually check let's check the um, binding okay there is nothing can also go to the uh, TCP server and issue the command let's get actually uh, debug okay IP DHCP server. Let's do events. There we go. And probably can turn on the plugin of packets on the DHCP server right there. Okay. So uh, let's check if DHCP if uh, given IP address to uh, the router number two. I need actually forgot to assign the port interface gig zero slash three. Uh, terminal and then face gig zero slash three. Okay, need to be an access port access. Okay, VLAN one hundred. At this point, we should see some uh, interesting traffic related to debugging on DLS two. Enable debug IP DHCP enable events and packets there we go let's see if the router 2 gets an IP address ok you show I do the face brief nothing uh, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 let's do shut oh it gets an IP address I uh, don't need to do that. Let's exit. Let's try to this brief right there. So it gets an IP address. I should. We should see some actually traffic going on here, as you can see. Okay. So DCP received. Okay. Uh, from client. DCP request coming from the client, and then actually sending notification assignment address. Okay. This is an offer. From the CP server, it give uh, it assigns actually uh, this IP address to the client, and then there is some ACK and okay, DHCP ACK and so on. 
So now, uh, let's go back to DHCP server and do the same command binding and that's what we want to see. So actually DHCP snooping what it does, it bind the MAC address to the IP. So the MAC address actually belongs to the client, router 2, okay, and the IP address is this, okay, the least time and DHCP snooping VLAN 100 and gigabit 01 actually, okay, interface. So uh, if I were to change the IP address of this guy or the MAC address of this guy, then there will be, okay, uh, there will be problem, okay. So DCP wouldn't, DCP snooping wouldn't allow that. And that's actually what actually the DCP snooping does. And I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.